Hey everyone, this is me, Alex Gentle in 36 and today I'm reviewing the uh, Ben 10 Wave 1 collection, uh, aka First 10 Aliens, and uh, yeah, so uh, really what we have is the, for the First 10, uh, we have uh, Upgrade, we have Wild Nuts, we have Grey Matter, Stinkfly, Rip Jaws, Diamond Head, Accelerate, Ghost Freak, uh, Forearms, and Heat Blast. So, um, <clears throat> today we're going to review all of these and um uh, in this one review and uh hope you will enjoy the review so uh yeah all right so we are starting with the um, the figure ghost freak so ghost freak he's the uh ghost like alien of the uh series and uh he's my favorite one of my favorites well all the first 10 are my favorites anyways this is ghost freak uh so anyways as i was saying before Ghost Freak was about the sixth or something alien to be released from the Omnitrix. And he can, like, he's from, he's an Ectonia right from Anaphatos. And he can go through walls. Um, he can, you know, he can uh, make himself invisible. Uh, enemies can go through him, blah, blah, all that crap. And, uh, anyways, as uh, we have here, he's got two uh, accessories. Actually, I'll show you uh, four, but anyways, I'll just show you, get to that in a minute. His next accessory. Accessory. So anyways, his first accessory we're going to show is this holographic uh, card. So apparently it's been transforming into Ghost Freak. So we transformation. So we've still got some grey shards of hair. Uh, his, one of his eyes are disappearing. One of them's, you know, turning into the Ghost Freaky eye. Skin's all drooping down and he's growing fat. Um, and yeah. Then last we got the original real Ghost Freak just staring. Uh, he's got a little bio at the back. Also got this little card, not showing it till we're gonna review the Ross Bucket. So sorry, but uh, yeah. And his fourth slash uh, th and third uh, accessory is these two little stand pieces to make him stand up. I thought this was really correct. But the detail on this figure is cartoon show accurate. N uh, back's got two nails. I don't blame that since this nail. But I didn't really care because it's actually. We're gonna say it's one nail because this is more like a hole for the. Uh, accessory and here's a nail a real nail apparently uh it's got I, I like how they put detail on the back we got the little number here um and then here we got Kaido Network B05 China so apparently it's like number five I don't know it's like fifth set of well, for this thing made or something I don't really know anything about that but uh this number apparently is like I don't know the product number I guess just guessing uh yeah Face has got that creepy purple eye. Apparently, uh, they've got the creepy purple eye. Pretty uh, big for some cases, but uh, it's all right. Um, yeah. So, arms. Uh, his arms they look pretty good. The hands they look pretty awkward. They look uh, like just completely. Just, I don't know, they just look uh, ugly, apparently. They're just like a creepy, haunting hand. Look, so, so, because he's got uh, four fingers, and one, and this one's huge, and the rest are like tiny. I find that pretty weird. Weird, but, uh, oh yeah, and his accessory also has this Omnitrix symbol. Next, we're gonna look at the articulation on this figure. So, the articulation is arms can move. Um, uh, here, uh, his tail, um, he can move his tail 360, uh, here, here's the tail moving, that's the basic look, here is, um, his, oh yeah, his head can turn as well, oh yeah, so that's Ghost Freak, uh, hope you enjoyed that, but, uh, anyways, yeah, that's Ghost Freak. Forearms. Uh, he includes two accessories. It's his main, the main accessories of this. What he has is he's got the holographic thing. You know Ben. He's got uh, Ben here, and he can transform into forearms. And then over here we got um, the holographic card, as I said, rust bucket uh, only thing. Um, so anyways, here is uh, forearms with his um, uh, you know that's forearms. He's got actually a lot of articulation, of course, and he's got two extra arms. And, uh, yeah, so, um, he looks pretty awkward, actually. If you remove these arms, this is what he looks like. His arms just, like, go out this way. And it, I don't like that, apparently. But, sadly, yeah. So, detail, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, he's got three nails at the back. That's, uh, that's alright, I guess. 
At least I put them in. Um, this is one. This one's very unrecognizable. I'm not even sure if you guys can see. Uh, now, if I put it like that, you can see it because you know you can see the shading of it. But uh, yeah. Um, here he's got his little product number thing, and then he's on his button. He's got uh the, <coughs> you know um. Thing, Maji. Um, you know number basically, and uh yeah so. Yeah, articulation. His head can move. Uh, 360. Uh, arms can move 360. He's also got joint at the L. All right, so here's our next figure, Heat Blast. So Heat Blast is the first alien Ben ever transformed into the series. He's he's the fiery alien, you know, controls fire, blah blah. Includes two accessories, Ben transforming. But what I find is this one. He's got like a girly face, blah blah. You got heat blast here, so I'm trying to make this quick. I'm so sorry, but uh, yeah, uh, detail. He looks actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, the Omnitrix, just like um, I'm not sure about forearms. I don't know. If, yeah, his Omnitrix as well. Um, his Omnitrix uh can scratch very easily, so this is good for display purposes. He's got the basic articulation of a normal figure. So basic articulation. When I say that, what I mean is he can move his head. Well, it's actually, he can barely move his head, really. Uh, you know, when I say basic articulation, I'm saying, uh, that means, uh, he can move his, um, arm, his elbow, and leg and knee. So, that's basic articulation, that's what I mean if I say that. So, that's Heat Blast. Alright, so next is Wild Nut, the dog-like alien. Uh, he, he, Wild Nut, he's the, like, you know... Mutt, he's like a dog, very, he's got very, very sharp jaws, and, uh, no, not the, not the figure in the series, though. So, anyways, um, includes the accessories again, uh, pretty ugly face here, he's like, just, his pupils, just wait, just wait, pupils just disappear, it's just creepy, I don't really, you know. Uh, anyways, Graham, uh, his, uh, his detail, basically, it's simple detail, because, in, anyways, he just had a regular, um, Yes, he was just regular in the show, but he's, you know, he was just like a regular old mutt that, you know, um, apparently, yeah, just, so it's just basically orange, I'm trying to say, uh, mostly. Uh, anyways, articulation, head can move, 360, mouth can open, uh, you know, arms can move, same as back legs too, but, uh, you know. Next is Grey Matter. So Grey Matter is um, this uh, gal. He's a Galvin um, from I don't know what planet. It is. I don't know. He's got two planets. Apparently in this one he's from um, oh Galvin Prime, but I think right now he lives in Galvin Mark Two because I was confused which one it was. But anyways, uh, he's got this little um, thing. So uh, you know f the transforming thing. And then this, you know. Uh, as I said, we're going to look, look at it in the thing. Uh, his other accessory is this little grey matter figure. So, it's like the tiny version. So, anyways, that's grey matter. Here's grey matter. Uh, so, anyways, uh, our tick, his uh, detail is very good. Sadly, they... I don't think he had a line at the back here, but they didn't add that. The big Omnitrix symbol. Uh, anyways, they got the numbers on the head. On, on his numbers, they're very hard to see. And on his butt, they have the China thing... Oh dear. Uh, sorry, it's blur, 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 blur. Anyways, um, you know, it looks just like grammar. Articulation, his head can move, elbows, uh, twisting hands, and basic articulation at the legs. So that's grammar. Alright, so the next figure is Stinkfly. Sadly, I do not have the little things. I got this guy on eBay and he did not come with his, um, but, uh, little accessories, but sad, but... Uh, for some reason, those ex but the problem is those accessories were actually s said in the description of the eBay seller, so I thought it was going to come with it, but no! Detail, he's very good detail, actually, for a very complicated figure. Uh, two nails at the back, uh, here. Uh, not, oh, there's the little code thing, and both of them just, just there. Both. And, uh, yeah, so articulation on the figure, uh, head can move 360. Arms can go up and down. Um, wings can move, um, you know, like that. Um, his legs can also move, like 
Just sadly, you cannot move each leg by himself as they're both connected. So I found that a thumbs down for this video. I thought you could move them at the same time. But actually, this is also a thumbs up at the same time because uh, you might have trouble seeing the feet because maybe this one might be like, you know, like, mm. and also, uh, sadly, and also finally articulation at the back here. So that's him. All right, so next we are going on with Accelerate, the fast, speedy animals. So Accelerate um, includes the exact same things. So it's got, you know, mid transformation, blah, blah, blah. that's your detail. It's pretty good. Um, I, oh, he's got another accessory, sorry, but I lost it. It's so tiny, it's a mask for him. I found I shouldn't have made that, it's just too tiny. Anyways, um, so I'll take, um, not articulation, I mean detail on the figure. So, uh, you know, it's got just, Good art, uh, detail, and, uh, sorry, I couldn't say it for some reason. Um, anyways, and, yeah, it's got good, uh, detail, and it's got the straps here, and, uh, you know, good, good face. Articulation, uh, his legs are stand, basic articulation, arms can move 360, and they're stuck on this old way position, head can turn, so basic head, and also got a tail, so that's him. Now presenting Diamond Head. Her. This is Diamond Head. So Diamond Head is the um you know Diamond Alien from Ben Ten. Blah blah blah. And uh yeah, so anyways, Diamond Head is like a diamond alien, apparently you can shoot diamonds, blah blah. Uh yeah, so accessories this oh, this is mid fan information for all your fans. Oh dear, that's not him, that's him. And then, anyways, here is our uh, diamond head, and uh, he's got two accessories at his back. So he's got to hold him like a sword. Detail, regular detail. Don't really like talking about the detail. There's nothing interesting on the damn figure. Anyways, um, uh, articulation. Um, arms can't move 360. No, they cannot. I don't want to ruin the figures. I don't want his arms to be loose. Uh, he can, I pro he can, I'm guessing, but I just like, you know, they just, uh, for some reason won't let me turn. Basic legs are uh, basic head and that's all the articulation, that's de demented. Alright, so next is Upgrade. So, Upgrade, you know, he's like a uh, galvanic mechamorph from Galvin, from Galvin B, I think. Let's go check. Yep, Galvin B. And he can, uh, like morph with any um electronical device and he can change it like use it for battle or anything whatever he wants to do but uh yeah so what he can do is he's just a really awkward just a basic figure apparently uh good articulate he's actually got very pretty good t detail for the arms and back and all that uh because you know he's like an electronic alien articulation his arms can move 360 Pretty long arms, actually. That's how he actually stands. He uses arms to balance him because his, his arms are so big. Anyway, so he can turn 360. Uh, legs can move just like that, and head can also turn. But uh, yeah. Oh yes, here it is. The transformation. So that's him in mid. That's enough for you. And then this is the card. Oh crap! You probably can see that. So that's upgrade. Last but not least is Rip Jaws, and I got this guy off eBay, so he doesn't have all this stuff. Anyways, Rip Jaws is like another wild map, basically, and uh, you know he's like a water alien and all that. So yeah, same jaws and blah blah. You can even open them, and you can yes, so you can open them and all that. So anyways, let's just get on with Rip Jaws. So arms can turn three sixty. And same as this arm, legs can also bend, but is they can't turn really. I can slightly turn, but because this is in the damn way. And uh, yeah, so detail is pretty awesome. I love this figure. He's uh, awesome. He's very fish. He's got. He's very fish-like. He's got all the abilities that he has. Just you know, good. And he's also got the jaws. Very good figure for it to you know. Just, so anyways, that's the old set of the uh, Ben 10 um, first wave. And next review, I'll be showing the DNA on Heroes, Heat Blast, Forearms, and Diamond Head. So I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.